We're turning our gaze to the night sky and star watch with meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri. Victoria. Yes, Wes, and this week we've got a few events in the sky that we want to discuss. The first one starts tomorrow night. This is going to be on Monday night. You will be able to see a planet as well as several bright stars. First off, you're going to be able to see Mercury near the moon tomorrow night. The Pleiades is also going to be visible. Now, this is a cluster of stars, sometimes called the Seven Sisters. In addition to that, you'll also be able to see Aldebaran, which is another bright star in the sky. Now, in order to see all this, you want to look about 45 minutes after sunset. This image here gives you an idea of what you can see in the sky. Best location to look is to the west northwest. That's where you'll be able to see the crescent moon. So it's going to look really thin in the sky tomorrow night. And then again, Mercury is going to shine bright near the Pleiades and that bright star Aldebaran. Another thing I want to mention this week is that Friday night after dark, there will be another three bright stars visible, obviously all depending on our cloud cover. These three stars are Arcturus, Vega, and Capella, and they're actually going to be visible throughout the month of May. But starting Friday night, this is going to be a good time for you to see them. In addition to this, there's another thing that you can check out in the sky this week that also tends to be visible in the month of May. It's an asterism or a collection of stars, sometimes called the Great Diamond. I've got all the details on what you can expect to see in my Star Watch blog. It's written every Monday and it's on WAT.com. We'll be right back.